Hello, my name is Mike Santa. I'm the founder of Bluepoint. And what I want to do over the next couple of minutes is to just give you a run through on um, the Bluepoint technology and also show you uh, Bluepoint actually working on some of these lower end phones and even an FM radio uh, and uh, smart devices as well. Bluepoint's really predicated on five main principles, but overarching is the desire really to make digital work in non-digital environments on devices that don't even support digital interactivity. And Bluepoint enables this uh, through these five principles. Firstly, uh, we provide uh, the content in a form that will work on any device that people have in their pockets. So even if they have a very basic device that doesn't necessarily have internet connectivity, Bluepoint can get digital content in a form that is applicable for these devices. And these make up about 77% of the devices that people currently own in Sub-Saharan Africa. So it's really important these aren't excluded uh, from, from digital interactions. Um, secondly, Bluepoint is designed to work in areas where the internet doesn't exist. So we take a slice of the internet that our customers decide on and offline that onto the Bluepoint uh, hubs. The Bluepoint hubs can be deployed as single units or as a collection of units that make a wireless um, LAN network uh, in the locations that they're deployed in. And they can be up to a kilometer, even 20 kilometers between the hubs um, and they'll communicate with each other. So any update that occurs on the network through 3G or satellite or TV white space or many other mechanisms is immediately federated across the network of Bluepoints that are connected to the updated material. So Bluepoint locally caches and because it's locally cached it's incredibly quick, faster than 4G speeds. Um, and thirdly, Bluepoint is designed to work in areas where electricity and the security of electricity is, is an issue. Um, so we can run Bluepoint uh, off solar energy or other renewable sources, also off car batteries, uh, off mains electricity that sometimes there, sometimes isn't. Because inside Bluepoint we have a battery that will last for 13 and a half hours. Um, so even in times of load shedding or when the electricity is out or when the sun's down, Bluepoint will continue to work. Um, and uh, fourthly, Bluepoint is designed to be safe, secure and focused. Now we found this is really important in issues uh, around health, is um, deployments in education and also deployments in humanitarian response where you're wanting to bring focused content to people's devices rather than a general internet experience. And Bluepoint is fantastic at doing that. It's curated, it's safe and it's secure. And then lastly, Bluepoint is designed to be free at the point of use. So there's no data costs, there's no airtime costs that are incurred when you interact with Bluepoint. But let me show you it actually working. So we can take a smart device um, such as this one and to connect to Bluepoint is really simple. All we need to do is go to our settings menu and Wi-Fi and choose the Bluepoint network. Now we can set this up so it's secure or we can set it up so it's an open network. You then would open your web browser and type in bluepoint.org. This is actually reflected on the box, really simple two-based instruction for Wi-Fi devices. On this instance, we've got a whole raft of different content on here, uh, ranging from commercial content with Canon to educational content that we've deployed in South Africa and Tanzania. So to illustrate um, Bluepoint on the various devices, I'm just going to choose a healthcare application in here. Um, the hard drive on Bluepoint, I should say, is 128 gigabytes by standard, but we can take that up to four terabytes. So on here, we have the whole of um, Wikipedia for schools. We have uh, thousands of STEM lessons um, loaded on here, plus a whole heap of other content. And we're only utilizing about 20 to 25% of the hard drive. The reason for this is the second half of the Bluepoint system, which is the cloud system, 
actually optimizes and adapts all of the content for the phones that we're gonna um, be looking at the content on. So here we have improving healthcare, and I'm just gonna go down to warning signs in pregnancy. So here we have a video that we can play. We've spoken to some experienced health workers. Which we can put in full screen size as well. So it's a great video that talks about the early uh, warning signs in pregnancy uh, that can be obtained free at the point of use on smartphones from, from Bluepoint. But what if you haven't got a smartphone? Well, even um, phones that only have Bluetooth and perhaps no web browser can receive this information as well. And uh, we Bluetooth the information across. And as you can see, it's now playing on this very simple feature phone. But some people have even more basic devices uh, than that. And Bluepoint can support um, those devices by actually transmitting the audio that's either auto-generated from uh, web pages uh, using our CMS system or is um, generated by stripping out the audio track. So this is being broadcast locally from the uh, Bluepoint box. Men do not eat enough food containing iron. Even on radios. So the great thing about that is because it's multimedia and it's a mixture of audio on the radio and simple phone and also video on the um, feature phone, it means that people, even if they can't read and write, can still access valuable life-changing materials on Bluepoint. And our passion at Bluepoint really is to empower the devices that people already have in their pockets to do what they can't yet do. And through this, we want to positively impact and improve the lives of 20 million people in 20,000 communities by 2020. There are a few other videos um, that, that we've recorded that go into a little more technical detail about the Bluepoint platform. But if you have any questions, please do get in touch by emailing info at bluepoint.org. Thank you very much.